Hello and welcome back to the last tutorial about the function blocks within the mock logic. In the last tutorials we have taken a look at the motion function block save stop, which is used to trigger and monitor the save stop of a drive system. In the course of this you have learned how to combine the block with the other function blocks and how to configure it. In today's tutorial we are going to focus on the converter function block speed to laser scanner. It is especially used in HEV applications to convert the integer speed values measured by the encoders into boolean values. Therefore, we start as always in the hardware configuration area of the FlexiSoft Designer. Here I have already placed a CPU2 with a connected S300 mini laser scanner as an FE element and a mock 0 with a sign cost encoder. After the hardware is configured, we can pass over to the mock logic. At first, we are going to place the function block speed to laser scanner in the configuration area. Therefore, we switch in the left sidebar from inputs to function blocks, where we open the register converter. Next, we select the block speed to laser scanner and place it in the configuration area. This function block always consists of the input motion, as well as the 12 speed bits and the speed status bit as outputs. At the input motion, the signal of the encoder must be connected. Therefore, we switch in the left sidebar from function blocks to inputs, where we find in the register mock0 encoder the sign cost encoder, which we have previously connected to the mock0. Next, we connect the encoder signal via drag and drop to the motion input of the speed to laser scanner. Now the block speed to laser scanner performs a plausibility check. If the speed status at input motion is zero, what means invalid, and the speed doesn't exceed the range of minus 2048 till plus 2047 cm per second, then the output speed status is high, which means valid. When one or both conditions are not met, then the output speed status goes low and remains in this state till both conditions are met again. In the case that the conditions are met, the block converts the integer speed values into boolean values and outputs it at speed bit 0 till 11. Let's do a short example. We assume that the sign cost encoder measures a speed value of 100 cm per second. This integer value is converted by the speed to laser scanner into boolean, what means speed bits 0, 1, 5 and 6 go high. In addition, also the output speed status goes high, because the conditions of the plausibility check are met. After the block has converted the integer values into boolean, the speed bits and the speed status have to be routed via the CPU from the FlexiSoft to the laser scanner. In order to that, we first have to route these bits to the CPU via the backplane bus. Therefore, we need the mock to cpu bits, which are located in the left sidebar. In this context, we switch from inputs to outputs, and there we open the register CPU2. Here we select the first 13 output bits and place them behind the function block speed to laser scanner. Now we connect each bit to one output. After we have connected each bit to the outputs of the speed to laser scanner, we can switch to the CPU logic. Here I have already placed two routing end-to-end -end function blocks, one with eight and one with 5 in and outputs. Now we switch in the left sidebar from function block to inputs, where the register mock0 is already open. Here the bits which we have previously connected in the mock logic to the function block speed to laser scanner are available. Next we take the bits and connect them to the input 
of the routing end-to-end -end function blocks. After connecting, we have the speeds measured by the encoder in the CPU logic, where we can now route these signals via EFI to the laser scanner, so the laser scanner can activate the field set depending on the current speed. For this, we have to switch in the left sidebar from inputs to outputs, where we open the register S300 Mini. At first, we take the output bit speed valid and connect it to the output 5 of the second routing end to end function block, because the speed status is connected to input 5. So the laser scanner gets the information if the speed is valid or not. Next, we take in the left sidebar the bits speed 0 till speed 11 and place them behind the two function blocks. After that, we connect these bits to the remaining outputs of both routing end-to-end -end function blocks. As soon as we are done, the configuration is finished and the laser scanner can switch the field sets depending on the current speed which is measured by the encoders and forwarded from the MOC to the CPU and afterwards from the CPU to the laser scanner. So that was it for the tutorial about the function block speed to laser scanner. Today you have learned how the speed to laser scanner converts the integer speed values measured by the encoder into boolean and how you route these signals from the MOC to the CPU as well as from the CPU to the laser scanner.